So you want to create your own donut business, but you do not have any idea how to start. Hey guys, I'm about to, uh, uh, that was, that was bad. That was, we're going to talk about how bad that was uh, just for a second. That was bad. Hey guys, I'm about to, it's by Kai. I'm Kai and back once again, taking a look at how to create, or not how to create, but how to um, fix some flickering that you might be having um, while modeling or creating or doing whatever, what have you. So I got a, a question a little bit ago, how to fix uh, flickering. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, if you have uh, if you have an object like a like a cube here, let's go ahead and hit tab to open up uh, the edit mode in this. Now, let's hit shift A and we'll search and we'll add in a, another cube. So let's say you want to go ahead and have like two of these here. And this is like in the same mesh, obviously. Um, and now in, in, if we were to move this up, like, but not all the way. So like about here. Right. And then let's hit S X and just like make it longer like that, like a T, you know. You can see here is if, if we move it around, you can see that there's some, like some oop, there's some clipping going on. You see a little weird piece in the middle there. You see it's like clipping itself, which is which is strange. So what we can do is two different things. Um, either um, we can like make this slightly bigger. So hit S Y move it up. Oh, grab this piece right here. Sorry, all of this bad boy. So grab this face and then hit G Y and then just move it out slightly. So it's like a little bit in front of it. But if you don't want it to be like that and you want it to be flush, the best way to do this is to go ahead and use the magnet tool. So let's go ahead and hit this little magnet right here. Uh, snap. Boom. Now with this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, hover my cursor over top of this object and hit L to select the entire thing. That selects the whole, uh, that selects the entire object there. And if we hit G, Z to move this bad boy up, you can see it'll snap to the grid. Now, we don't want it to snap to the grid. We want it to snap to this face here. So let's go ahead and fix this by open, open this little piece right here and changing this to... Da -da -da, um, face project. So there you go right there. Now you can go ahead and, and, and make sure that snaps the faces. Now, so if we were to go ahead and grab this once again, um, oops, grab this once again, you can see that we can now go ahead and snap to this face. Now the issue is, oops, now the issue is, is we need to go ahead and hit Z. So we move straight down and there we go. Now we can pop that right onto the top face. Now, if you try to pop it onto this like this from this way, it won't work because it's snapping onto this front face. You have to make sure you can see the top face, hit G, Z, and then it'll snap straight on there. There we go. There we go. So now you can see when we move around, it's not clipping, it's not being weird, it's not uh, looking bad, and now they are like together in the same object and looks really cool and really nice, and no nothing's clipping, nothing's looking weird, and you can go ahead and move this around, rotate it, and everything else, and there's no seam, there's no there's no seam there, there's no nothing weird going on, and it is not flickering with that weird like clipping type of thing. So that's literally all you have to do. I hope you, ladies and gentlemen, enjoyed something. Uh, enjoy, enjoy something. I hope you learned something new today. I hope you enjoyed it. I just made the Teen Titans Tower. Pretty cool. Um, I'll see you guys, ladies and gentlemen, in the next one. But until then, bye-bye.